Oh my word. Oh, angry elephant somewhere. Oh, look at these. Lapping away at the water. This is just so perfect. We were talking about lion cubs drinking. And the fact that they were going to start needing to because they're going to start feeding off kills. All of our lions here have wonderfully full bellies, so they've obviously been on a kill somewhere. Oh. <laughs> Some fantastic commentary from me, sorry. <laughs> it was just too cute. And there's a definite sense of curiosity here with our little lion cubs. It's clearly one of the first times that they've had to walk up to the muddy edge of a dam and lap away at the water. <laughs> clearly don't have any problem with getting their little paws wet. Shamsan, no, the leopard cub, I mean, the lion cubs won't play in the water. They might walk into it, they're not afraid of it, and they are, at this age, more than capable of swimming. However, they, it might be safe here in Buffelzook Dam, but lion cubs throughout Africa definitely would not be allowed to go paddling about in a dam because of the risk of crocodiles. So their instinct would tell them to only go into the water if their mothers were leading them through it. And in parts of Botswana, of course, they do, and other watery areas in deltas and swamps, they do have to swim from island to island at a very young age. So they can do it, but they'll only do it if encouraged to by mum. Oh, have you got dirty little mud beards? <laughs> well done, big girls. I'm just going to be quiet for the moment and let them come right up because they're going to come right close to the vehicle and we don't want to scare them. So we'll keep movements nice and slow. Guys, we're going to get to see them meet each other. Oh, wow. Oh, how stunning. This is just such an incredible sighting. It is so, so special. Oh, a little bit of hissing from new mom. Oh, she's still feeling a bit grumpy. Contact calling from between the cubs. If you don't mind, I'll just take five more minutes and then I'll pull out. Family photo. Family photo. Look at that. Take plenty of screenshot, guys. We can't stay for too long. It's a two-vehicle lock, and there are other people that want to come and join us, but this is just magnificent. Oh, wow. Absolutely. Gert is spot on. A family portrait. <laughs> Little cubs, where are you going? You playing? Oh, absolute magic. Oh. 
after the months of chaos and confusion that we have watched the Inkuhuma Pride go through to see these little new arrivals and the whole Pride together and at peace is just so incredibly special. Since the Birmingham Boys takeover a year ago, we finally got to the point where the Inkuhuma Pride can start recovering, have their new cubs in peace and raise a whole new generation of fierce predators. And they do look very fierce, don't they? Awe-inspiring and terrifying, striking fear in the hearts of all creatures, with, especially with their muddy beards. <laughs> so, the Nkuhuma Pride, five adult females, at least six cubs, so twenty, what is that, eleven? plus probably another set of cubs that will most likely number somewhere around three, which would bring the Nkuhuma Pride from five last year, after the deaths of three lionesses throughout the previous few months, and the loss of Junior. We've got the numbers right up to potentially 15, but at least 11. I couldn't be happier. And Felicity, absolutely our little lion cubs are incredibly strong and stocky at this point. Lion cubs are are first of all very quick growers and then secondly they are powerful little beasts even at this age uh, would they be strong enough to pull a piece of meat away to chew on themselves yes they would be now although they are only about the size and they're shorter but about the size of a domestic house cat at this point they are far stronger and far heavier and the advantage of growing up with siblings is that they get to practice their fierce fighting skills and build up their strength very, very quickly. Aww. And already, those bonds that will be so essential to their... Oh, is it, is it sleep time? Is it sleep time in the sun on the log? <laughs> and yes, already they are very, very strong sharp claws, razor-sharp little milk teeth, little miniature predators. Of course it'll be another two years before they are able to hunt and look after themselves, but that's okay. They've got the safety of a loving family to protect them. And now we must hope that the Birmingham boys maintain control of this area so that we can watch these little bundles of fluff go from bundles of fluff to adult lions. How lucky are we? <laughs> James Richard says that he's going to be going to bed with a smile on his face. What an incredible sighting. So will I. I'm going to be walking around all day with a smile upon my face. I'm so glad that this is the way that the morning went. It's very special. Yes, James Richard, absolutely. There will be smiles across the world as a result of three utterly adorable little lion cubs. You chewing on your sibling, hmm? Half-hearted attack from behind. <laughs> okay guys, just another minute and then we must go. Oh, but I don't want to. But we have to. I'm sorry. <laughs> Three beautiful little additions to the Inkuhuma Pride. Innocence personified, sort of, 
and with no idea just how special they are to so many people across the world. Just lion cubs being lion cubs. Okay. This is going to wrench my heart, but it is time for us to go.